All right, White Tigers, great win today. This is for the Crossroads, third and fourth grade, White Tigers basketball. Um, this is October 29th, 2022. You guys did a great job. I'm so proud of you. We, we were very close. We were tied at halftime. We were, uh, I think, tied at the end of the third quarter. And you guys came out there. You executed exactly what our promise was, to maximize our effort and minimize our mistakes for 32 minutes plus overtime. And we did that, and we won. So I uh, want to point out some things, some things we did right, some things we can improve on so that you guys can work on that stuff at home. We wanna make sure we're always moving on offense. If you're just standing beside your defensive guy, you're, you're not doing what you need to do in offense. We need to move into open space, especially if we can move into open space closer to the basket. And clap your hands, call for the ball. You know, sometimes your friends need help when they get jammed up. Also, when, when you are on offense and you have the ball, don't clam up especially if you're close to the goal don't grab the ball and kind of protect the ball i want you to turn towards the basket and shoot most of the time that's going to be a foul in this age group if you turn and go up strong to the basket it's going to be a foul if you don't make it and you may make it and we get to shoot an extra uh, free throw on top of that um you guys are doing much better on knowing where the ball is. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Something we need to work on. Several of you didn't know. You don't know whether we're, you don't know what's going on when you're on the court. You don't know whether you're on offense. Blake did a really good job of going, I'm confused. Help me out. So he came and he goes, I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be. So ask. If you don't know, ask. But I need you guys to be learning and watching the game. Make sure you're watching some NBA games with your parents and know when we're on offense, know when we're on defense, and where you're supposed to be. Also, know who you're coming in for. When you're subbing, wave your hands and yell for that person. And yell for, hey, Devin, or hey, uh, Kevin, or hey, you know, Elias. So you're coming, you're taking that person out and you're likely going into the same position. Maybe not going into the exact same position they were playing, but you are subbing in for that person. Um, and Coach Dillon will tell you, hey, you're going in for this person, but you're not playing that same position. You're playing this position instead. So on defense, we need to make sure we get our hands out. You guys play really tough defense. Big, big kudos to Julie. She did exactly what we practiced, and we only practiced it one time with a jump ball situation. So when the opposing player has the ball on the sides and they're locked up and they're looking for somewhere to pass, we put our hands on the top and bottom and we fight for that ball. Eventually, if you don't steal the ball, the ref is going to call jump ball. And we did that several times successfully today. So good job. Julie did it just happened to do it right there at the end and caused a great turnover with only 33 seconds left. I knew at that point we had the game. So good job. Keep playing that way, guys. But uh, again, several of you, when you go in, you need to know what I'm on offense, I'm on defense, that type of thing. Good job for Kevin on offense, taking what the uh, defense was giving you on the other side. And if you get those fast breaks, you get close to the basket, slow down you know make a good basket you and justice are getting those fast breaks slow down make a good shot on the basket we should get every one of our fast breaks okay um also when they get a fast break and you you hear me say we practice this in practice if you hear me say stop the ball stop the ball that means stop the ball up to we really want to go for the ball but that means up to and including a foul you can foul that person but we don't want to give them a free, easy shot. All right, we don't want to hurt anybody, but we do want to get the ball and stop that fast break. But we don't want a fast break. We want to play good offense. We want to be moving the ball around. We want to make good passes, that type of thing. All right, um, again, very good game. That's about all I have for today. Again, you guys will watch some games with your parents and Look at what they're doing right. Look at what they're doing wrong. You can watch YouTube. You can watch ac actual games. The NBA season has started now. You don't have to watch the whole game, but watch part of it. See what they're doing. See how they're passing the ball around successfully. 
okay? Really proud of you guys, and enjoy um, trick-or-treating in the n next night or two, and I will see you Tuesday night for another big game.